military weapons. Welcome back and thank you for watching. Today I'm talking about the Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawk, which is a four-bladed, twin-engine, medium-lift utility helicopter. The Sikorsky submitted this S-70 design for the United States Army's Utility Tactical Transport Aircraft System Competition in 1972, and the Army designated the prototype as the YUH-60A and selected the Blackhawk as the winner of the program in 1976 after a fly-off competition with the Boeing Vertel YUH-61. Its primary mission is to be a troop carrier and logistical support aircraft, along with an ability to perform medical evaluations. This helicopter can be configured to conduct command to control, search and rescue, armed escort, electronic warfare, and executive transport missions. For operations in Arctic environments, the Black Hawk can also be fitted with skis. Its operators include Afghanistan, Argentina, Australia, Austria, Bahrain, Brazil, Brunei, Chile, China, Colombia, Egypt, Iraq, Israel, Japan, Jordan, Malaysia, Mexico, Morocco, the Philippines, Poland, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, Sweden, Taiwan, Thailand, Turkey, the UAE, and the United States. Of its design, the UH-60 features a four-blade main and tail rotor and is powered by two General Electric T700 turboshaft engines. The main rotor is fully articulated and has an elastomeric bearing system in the rotor head. The tail rotor is canted, featuring a rigid crossbeam. The helicopter has a long, low-profile shape to meet the Army's requirement for transporting aboard a C-130 Hercules with some disassembly. It can also carry 11 troops with equipment, featuring 1,200 kilograms of cargo internally or 4,100 kilograms of cargo externally by sling. The Black Hawk Helicopter Series can perform a wide array of missions, including the tactical transport of troops, electronic warfare, and aeromedical evacuation. A VIP version known as the VH-60N is used to transport important government officials with the helicopter's call sign of Marine One when transporting the President of the United States. In an air assault operation, it can move a squad of up to 11 combat troops or reposition a 105mm M119 howitzer with 30 rounds of ammunition and a four-man crew and a single lift. The Black Hawk is equipped with advanced avionics and electronics for increased survivability and capability, such as the global positioning system. Of its specifications, it features a crew that has two pilots with two crew chiefs or gunners. It has a capacity of 1,200 kilograms of cargo internally, including 11 troops and six stretchers, or 4,100 kilograms of cargo externally. Its rotational speed has an engine that goes up to 20,900 RPMs with a main rotor speed of 258 RPMs. The power plant features two General Electric T700 GE701C turboshaft 1,890 horsepower engines. Its performance never exceeds a speed of 357 kilometers an hour, but has a maximum speed of 294 kilometers an hour, with a cruising speed of 280 kilometers an hour. Its combat radius is 592 kilometers with a ferry range of 2,220 kilometers that has an ESSS stub wings and external tanks. The service ceiling on this helicopter is 5,790 meters. Of its armament, it features two 7.62 mm M240 machine guns, two 7.62 mm M134 miniguns, or two 12.7 mm GAU-19 Gatling guns. It has four hard points, two per ESSS stub wings, and provisions to carry combinations of rockets, featuring 70mm Hydra 70 rockets, AGM-114 Hellfire laser-guided missiles, AIM-92 Stinger air-to-air -air missiles, 
and also has 7.62mm, 12.7mm, 20mm or 30mm M230 gun pots. And on top of all this, it can also be equipped with the Volcano Minefield Dispersal System. Hey, thanks for watching. What did you think of this video and the Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawk? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time.